Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. An unseen picture of Duchess Meghan shortly before she stepped back as a royal surfaces, and it speaks volumes. The Duchess of Sussex joined a special guest for the candid snap. Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry's royal tour of Africa seems like a million years ago when you consider all of the things that had happened since. Indeed, just three months after the whirlwind royal tour, in which the family of three traveled to different parts of the African country, Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from their roles as senior royals was announced to the world, and it marked a significant moment of change. But looking back, there was a time where all seemed blissfully normal and business, as usual for the royal couple, and an unseen photo that's just surfaced on social media is a jarring reminder of it. Sharing the snap on Instagram, a South Africa-based company named Concierge, Cape Town revealed an image of Meghan and a local cook who looked after the pair while they toured the country in September 2019. Meghan is seen with a big smile while the chef looks humbled to be standing beside the well-known royal. The company wrote, Our team assisting the royal family with their trip in Cape Town private chef and concierge services. Chef Lee cooking up some great food for the family. At the time the photo was taken, Megan and Harry were enduring some difficult circumstances and stresses behind the scenes as their plan to leave their positions as senior royals bubbled, but it seems they still found plenty of reasons to smile. A number of fans flocked to the comments section to share their excitement for the rare snap, wrote one. That's so cool, well done team, wrote another, fantastic. A popular royal blogger on Instagram, known as Harry Meghan Updates, also reshared the image over the weekend, stating, Just discovered now, a throwback picture shared by Chef Lee and his team when they assisted the royal couple during their trip in Cape Town. One fan commented, The Ray share was met with thousands of likes and comments. I've never seen this before. It's nice and Megan looks so happy. Miss her so. Another important addition to the unseen pick was, of course, basking in Megan's chic outfit once again, and it appears she was wearing the very same ensemble we later saw during one of her official engagements with a few minor tweaks. Indeed, her white linen J crew shirt looks to be the same as the one she wore at an event with Harry on Malmubisi Beach, where they joined in a group bonding activity. Meanwhile, her beloved mother denim black jeans were also a winner for the sunny day. She was also seen wearing an additional brown belt in the unseen picture, which breaks up the chic outfit to perfection. When we previously saw her don, the jeans and shirt get up at the beach. Megan also added a blue denim jacket by Madewell. The new image comes after both Harry and Meghan's latest project in Los Angeles was revealed. Now that they're no longer operating under the Sussex royal arm, the pair's work for their new foundation, Arkawell, has remained under wraps, with only small snippets of info coming through. Their newest endeavor is nothing short of inspiring. They're together working on the Stop Hate for Profit campaign, which is calling on CEOs and people holding high positions across the world to pause their advertisements from Facebook in a bid to shine a light on the detrimental effects Facebook has had on society. Brands already on board with the campaign include Ben and Jerry's, North Face, Verizon, Patagonia, Unilever, Starbucks, and more. A source told people, as we've been developing Arcawell, one of the areas the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been keen to address is online hate speech, and we've been working with civil rights and racial justice groups on it. Over the past few weeks, in particular, this issue has become even more vital, and they have been working to encourage global CEOs to stand in solidarity with a coalition of civil and racial justice groups like the NAECP, Color of Change, at the Anti-Defamation League which are calling for structural changes to our online world. 
With this in mind, it looks like Harry and Meghan's work is more important than ever, no matter what position they maintain within the royal family. We're sure there's plenty more to come. Another analysis. Why Prince Harry and Prince William's feud moved their biographer to tears. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shared their decision to scale back their duties as members of the royal family, they also made it a point to mention their infant son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten, Windsor, who was born in May 2018. In an Instagram post published January 8, 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said they intend to split their time between the United Kingdom and North America. This geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity. It's fair to wonder what Harry and Meghan truly mean when they say Archie will be raised with and appreciation for the royal tradition. How will this chances of inheriting the throne, and how will Archie's education and experiences compare to his royal cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis? Although we don't have all the answers regarding Archie's future, we do have a few compelling possibilities to share. Does Archie still have a shot at being king? May a lot of the questions surrounding Archie's future are technical ones, like whether he'll still have a spot on the line of succession. As it stands, Archie is seventh in line, preceded by his dad, Prince Harry, his three cousins, Uncle Prince William, and Grandfather Prince Charles, who is next in line. It's unlikely Archie will ever become king, but it can't be ruled out completely especially since it's unlikely he'll be removed from the line of succession. That's because this tradition isn't just about birth order, it's also tied up in British legislation. Historian and author Marlene Koenig told Royal Central, Succession to the throne is based on legislation, including the Succession to the Crown Act, which includes the Act of Settlement. It would take an Act of Parliament to remove a person from the line of succession. It's important to note, Archie can't be stripped of any royal title because he wasn't given one at birth, which was reportedly decided by his parents. The kiddo is simply known as Archie Harrison Mountbatten, Windsor, and was bestowed the surname used for descendants of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. As for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's titles, they seemingly have no plans to abandon their duke and Duchess of Sussex monikers, but it's possible the Queen, who is reportedly outraged at the moment, might rescind their titles in the future. Archie's education might not be traditional. Prince William and Kate Middleton's eldest kids, Princess Charlotte and Prince George, both attend Thomas's London Day School in Battersea, but it's possible cousin Archie won't join them since his parents plan to split time between the UK and North America. The little guy is obviously too young at the moment to hit the books. Meghan Markle supposedly wants a different life for Archie. A possible motivating factor behind Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to step back from royal duties reportedly revolves around their desire to give Archie a so-called normal life. An insider told Radar Online, Meghan has already made a name for herself since marrying into the royal family, but she didn't realize how big of a responsibility it would be to be a part of the monarchy. She realized that this is not the life she wants to live forever, and especially with Archie. It's not the life she wants him to have. This sentiment echoes the statement of royal expert Camilla Tomini, who told Entertainment Tonight in July 2019, I think the couple is determined for Archie to have as normal a life as possible. Prince Harry grew up very much in the spotlight, never far away from the gaze of the cameras, and at points in his life, that's been something he has resented. Apparently, Prince Harry's desire for more privacy is one of the reasons why they want to keep their fraud law residence in the UK a gift given to them by the Queen. Camilla said, 
My understanding is that at Frogmoor, they have essentially built a fortress. One of their closest friends told me it was their oasis, their sanctuary where they're going to raise their child away from the spotlight. It's up to the queen, aka the couple's landlord, to determine if they get to keep the oasis. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.